Greetings, coaster lovers. It's your friend, King's Coasters, and today I'm reviewing my top five favorite roller coasters in the state of Ohio. Ohio is a fantastic destination for roller coasters and amusement parks. There are two elite parks in the state, Cedar Point and my home park, King's Island. I've ridden all of the main coasters in the state, well, besides Dragster. I've ridden 28 coasters in the state of Ohio at the time of this recording, and those spread from the two main parks I just mentioned. I've also never ridden all the coasters at Cedar Point, but I had the amazing opportunity of doing that at Kings Island. Even the kids' coasters. And don't even mention Ohio with the memes, it's kind of annoying and pretty overused. Anyways, let's not waste more time and begin with our two honorable mentions. And also, these two roller coasters are actually two new credits that I got this year, and they're both B&Ms at Cedar Point. Alright, now we're going to begin with our number 5. So let's start off with my first ever giga coaster, Orion at King's Island. This coaster gets criticized for being a hyper because of its hype, but I consider it a giga. Anyways, Orion is a great coaster, and has unique elements in the layout, which in my opinion makes it different from the other gigas like Fury 325 and Intimidator 305. This is really my second favorite ride at King's Island, and it's always a fun time when you're riding it. And I had never ridden Orion in the back row, but I ridden it in the front, and it was amazing. And a surprising moment for me is the dip before the break run. It has some sustained airtime, which I love. Anyways, let's move on. Staying at King's Island, we're going to talk about my favorite attraction at King's Island, Diamondback. Diamondback is being a hyper with those beautiful stacker trains. There is three other coasters there with those trains, but I don't mention them. Anyways, back to Diamondback. The ride is kind of rough on some parts, especially when you're rising up into the trimmed hill after the overbank turn. It feels like rocks in a blender. But it's a fantastic ride. It's the ride where it has the best floater airtime on any coaster in my opinion. And the strands are very comfortable, which is a big plus for me. The theme is great as well, and don't forget about the splashdown. That's a photogenic part of the ride. Diamondback is just plain fun. Now we're going to Cedar Point for our number 3 roller coaster, Millennium Force. And it was the first ever Giga roller coaster introduced to the world, and it still holds up to this day. Some people criticize it for having a repetitive layout, but it is a very uninspiring layout, which knocks it down a spot or two. But enough of the negative, Millennium Force is a fun ride, very forceful, smooth on some parts, and the views are immaculate. When you're at the top of the 310 foot cable lift, you might even see Kenneth out there. It has a great setting right next to Lake Erie, and the drop feels like you're going to plunge into Lake Erie. Just a plain fun and forceful ride, but there was a negative I forgot. At the bottom of the first drop, it feels like an earthquake, which is a big negative, but Millennium Force is just fun. Now we're going to Millennium Force's northern neighbor, Maverick. Maverick is an intense ride, and the S-Bands after the first drop is a great moment for me. And the second launch packs a punch. Maverick is also super smooth, and it's my favorite roller coaster build by Intamin, fun fact. The two stingle dives is a high lateral moment, and it might be even too intense for me. The two airtime holes are also elite, but the capacity isn't the best, but no more negativity. The first drop is a lot of fun. Turns out, number one didn't come out as much of a surprise. It's Seal Vengeance. Where do I start? I love all the airtime moments on the ride, and it's glass smooth. The first drop is also super elite. The inversions are amazing, and the outer bank turn is my favorite part of the ride. Definitely, overall, my favorite roller coaster that I've ever ridden. The restraints are also very comfortable, a little bit more comfortable than the clamshells actually. Just can't say anything negative about Steel Vengeance, besides the ride getting a long line for most of the day. And that would do it for my top 5 favorite roller coasters in the state of Ohio. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, and I also upload every Saturday. And make sure to hit the bell so you cannot miss out when the video comes out. And also follow my TikTok, it would help. And give a like, it would also help. Anyways, have a nice week, and keep that adrenaline pumping. See you next week.